So at all four corners of this panoramic sunroof are drain valve or drain tubes. So obviously the one at the back right and back left on mine are clogged or somehow leaking. So I'm going to try to figure that out. To do that, you need to access some of this stuff. So I've already taken apart all this, but let's let's show you how to do it. So this this piece starts it all. It comes from right here. That's what it looks like when it's out. And it's got just a bunch of clips. They over-engineer these things like crazy, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clips in it. For this little piece of plastic, just to hold it in. Um, so it comes from right up here, and all you have to do is pull it down. You get your fingers in here, and you pull it straight down. Start at one edge, and, and then move to the other edge. Pretty easy. A couple of my clips stayed in, so all you do is go back and, and take these out with some pliers and then put them into the holes that they came from before you reinstall it. The next pieces to remove are these side pieces. Uh, sorry about the light, but uh, there's one here which I've removed. and. One here, and so to remove these, you have to pull them away from the edge here. There's some clips behind here on the edge, and then you need to do the same thing for this edge near the this quarter glass over here. So pull it away from that. And what I needed to do is I needed to get one of these, and you stick it behind there, and you pry it a little bit. Be careful of the window but it will pop fairly easily, um, but I couldn't get my fingers back there to do it. And then there's two clips in the middle as well, and for those you just have to pull straight out. You give it a hard, firm jerk, and it'll come away. It'll seem like it's gonna break, but um, mine didn't, so that's, that's this piece. So you gotta take that out. I'm going to try to take off this side panel as well so I could get this off here and then I can pull down the headliner a little bit more because right now I don't have a lot of movement unless I want to bend the headliner and I do not want to do that. So I'm going to take this panel off here and well perhaps this one needs to come off first. I'll, I'll check it out and let you know. Looks like this, this side panel here that's near the back seats comes out pretty easily you just grab a hold on here and you pull and then some clips will come out from the back side and once you pop out the top of this uh, front panel then um, there's a some Torx bits here let me see what size they are this is a t30 and a t30 and this is a t20 and this is a T T40 down here, T40 that holds on this uh, tie-down strap right there. The rest of it's all clipped in. There is this push pin clip that you have to pry out right here, and you can take that out. Uh, but the rest of it's just um, those those pop rivets. Um, and you just pull to get those disconnected. In order to remove this side piece here behind the uh, back doors, um, there's two clips in the middle, one here and one here, um, and then one at the bottom and another one. So there's four total that go down the middle. It goes in like this and you have to slide that down um, after you, you popped it off because this piece is going to be up behind the headliner and in order to get it out you have to slide it down so pop the pop the inner side off here this these two bits go that way and then once you get those off you can pop the bottom out and then slide it down like that 
this back plate um, comes off of here and it's just a uh, one, two, three, four pop rivets. And so you just pull that, pull that straight up towards you. It's pretty easy. Um, first of all, these side little bins, you just pull up on those, they come out. And there's a, um, a twisty uh, uh, kind of hold down right here. You just twist it and you pull that out. And then you can pull out these sides. And you can pull out this little bracket right here. It kind of holds this uh, back divider in place. Once you get down to the spare tire, it's um, it's nothing left to it really. Uh, you disconnect the fender uh, base module if you have the uh, fender audio system in your car uh, by unclipping it right here, pulling out this wire, and then this pops out. Uh, you take the spare out, and then this liner just pulls straight up and out, and then uh, you're down to bare metal after that. Alright, so I'm looking at the, up above the, here's the headliner, and above the headliner on the left side, this is that red tube going into the uh, drain pipe for the, uh, there's a little, there's a small plastic pipe that it kind of, the nipple sits around, and that's how it drains out. I don't see any leaks coming from there. I think it just overflowed because it was all gunked up. But I do see what looks to be a design flaw. It looks like the pipe or the tube, the red tube goes up. It starts at one height with that white coupling and then it goes up to that clip and then it goes down to the next clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip it from that first clip and pull it through a little bit more. Unclip it from here and unclip it from the next one and then pull it so it goes down more, more of a downward angle. There. See, now it doesn't go up to that clip anymore. And maybe that'll prevent it from filling up with water so much and have stagnant water in there. I don't want stagnant water in there. I just want it to flow down and out. Now coming up on the top side, um, what I want to do is try to see inside here to see if there's any dirt or grime. But this panel of this panoramic roof doesn't move. So, uh, I'm gonna try to, this, this is right here, there's kind of a rubber seal, and I'm gonna try to get a um, camera down in there. I have a light a camera on a, uh, a pen light, and uh, try to get that down there and see if I can see the drain hole underneath there. Okay, so now I'm testing it to see if it's all plugged up or if it's all freed up now. Um, I got the hose here, it's just kind of dribbling into this crack that's, I guess, supposed to be there. And then it'll go down through the car, underneath, through the tube. Check for any leaks up here. I do not see any drips or any leaks from up there. And it should be flowing pretty well out of this drain hole. Yeah. It's coming pretty smoothly out of the drain hole. That's good. When you're testing to see if it's leaking, also make sure you run your fingers up here along the um, inside or just above the headliner. Since I don't want to have to deal with this in the future, at least not taking apart the entire interior of the car, 
um, uh, creating these couplings here just inside of this is the uh, left hand side of the vehicle behind where the jack usually goes uh, it sits right in here and so you can take this panel off and you can get to this really easily so I'm, I'm putting this coupling here this is just a half and so I'm gonna put this in here and that way in the future I can take it apart on the right hand side it's a little bit more difficult to get to but um, you can reach back and through this this access panel right here to get to the brake lights to change those and if you reach back there with your fingers you can pull out the uh, tube here and then make a cut in it and then put in the coupling on that one the front drains are behind this plastic molding here so you got to take that off this three clips that look like I've already loosened this one up but you can pull these out with needle nose pliers there's one here there's one in the middle and then there's one on that side I already took that side off um, after you get those off there's a piece of foam here you just kind of move that aside and then this will the front lip is kind of in this groove here so you just have to pull up on it it'll it'll seem like it won't want to come but um, you just pull on it firmly and it'll it'll come out and then you can remove that piece and underneath that there's this piece of plastic here it just unclips from the middle and then you can pull that out. Once you get behind that, you'll be able to see the drain, which is right there. And so you can reach up under there. And actually, there's no little valve on that one. But just kind of Make sure it's clear of debris. And yeah, there's no valve on that one. So either it fell off or I've had the service done on this. There's a TSP or a TSB um, for them to actually fix this at the factory, or not the factory, but the uh, dealership. I've had that done. Um, so maybe they pulled those off in accordance with that TSB uh, when they did that at the shop. The one over on the driver's side is much harder to get to. It's back here underneath past where all this stuff is located. You probably can remove some of this um, wiper motor and wiper arms if you want to get to it, but mine it looks like they've already, yeah, there's none, you probably can't see it under there, but I can see it with my eyes, and there is no flapper on this one either. So it looks like they've removed those at the dealership. So I'm going to go run some, uh, a couple of uh, cups of water down these two pipes on the front and make sure that it's flowing clearly. Okay, on the front, there's uh, two holes on the front corners. There's one right down in there, and one over in that other corner. What I used was this tube. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what size it is, but it's uh, pretty small. It's used for um, it's used for fish tanks, I, th I believe. I got it at Walmart. Okay, the first piece to put back on when you're reassembling everything is this side panel here. Uh, make sure you pry out from this back quarter window here a little bit to get it around those clips. You're on those two clips in there. And then the bottom, you need to line up with a clip that's right behind here. And um, then you just press it back into place pretty hard. And make sure it lines up along the top and that the gasket here is all lined up. All right, the next bit you do is right back here. Uh, make sure you route your seat belt back through this hole right here. And then remember there's a push pop rivet that goes in here 
and that should line up with the hole. And then this part back in here, you'll need to kind of lift it up and then place it and then push it towards the window and then push it down in the crack back here. And then these holes should line up with their Torx bits right here, here, and back under here. And make sure that you, there's a little groove here or cut in the carpet that goes around this um, steel uh, D-ring here. And then make sure back here, this D-ring is popping up through the carpet as well. And that one, right, right there. This side bit here that goes underneath the, well, the strap hangs down right on top of it. Um, there's two bits back in here that slide in this way, and then you press the whole thing into this side pillar. And there's two clips, there's one back right about here, and there's one down here on the side, and you gotta just make sure you push those into the clips. And then make sure your gasket lines up nice along the side. And that these bits line up right here. Back behind here at the back of the car, there's two pop rivets that you just press into the side here to pop those into place. And then make sure your gasket is all lined up correctly by just pulling it out of the groove. Uh, for this next piece to go in, this is the back right. There's two clips here. These go towards the uh, side quarter panel. And you have to kind of get those in place first by um, stretching it around here and making sure it comes in from the front and then pulling the rest of it and popping the other rivets in place. Done with that panel, make sure that it lines up nicely along the top here. Uh, don't worry too much about fingerprints. Try to keep your hands as clean as possible because, well, at least my headliner is this creamy color and it gets spots on it really easily. Um, but I'll show you how to clean that up when you're done. Last panel right here is just pop rivets. So just start at one end, um, work it in all the way across and then make sure you take your gasket and make sure it sits correctly. As far as cleaning up the headliner, what I found works pretty well is oh, this stain remover, multi-purpose cleaner. It's made for vehicles, um, upholstery and stuff like that. And so you spray it on there and you use these, these little um, plastic things to rub it out. Um, and then a really clean cloth to dry it when you're uh, done with that and it, it comes off okay um, I'm gonna do another application but this is the way it came out so far so it's looking much better than it was